हेलो ऑल वेलकम बैक इन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द लेक्चर सीरीज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द रिमोट क्यूब एंड इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्यूब दिस क्यूब बेसिकली यूज यूज टू पॉइंट एन अदर क्यूब मैनेजर यू सी हियर द फ्यू प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द रिमोट क्यूब This queue contain the address of the remote destinations. This queue act as a pointer to another queue manager, and this has no physical location. These are the three properties of the remote queue. If you see the diagram here, here application A is sending some information to queue manager one, and after that, the information is going to remote queue. Then it is going to transmission queue. Then it is going to sender channel. Through sender channel, it is going to local queue. the queue manager 2 and after that it will, it will be going to send the application 2 here the remote queue have some uh, properties uh, and it's it has some uh, properties which point uh, the this queue of the queue manager 2 and also define the transmission queue to make it continuation so this is the reason we told that it points the other queue uh, other remote destinations because it is, this is the queue which told the message need to be go to here of the other queue manager that's the reason the queue which is very important let me create and show you if you go to queue manager and just go to queue just do a right click here you can see a remote queue definition there is option to just click on that just make any name as per your wish i making max2 dot remote are you able to are you remote then there is some uh, properties at system dot r default dot remote dot q this as i earlier told you the yeah, every you have some uh, basic definition defined by the ibm uh, so that uh, it takes some properties from that similarly in the remote queue there is default property uh, of the queue pro provided by uh, provided here by the system dot default dot remote dot queue and all property that present here will taken by the this queue let me go to next if you see here there are some properties Uh, in description that you uh, put message there is also put message option where you can put but get is not there because it, it it once you put the message here it will automatically go to there and there is also no physical location you can see if you can see here you can in extended there is no such options of the storage that the queue depth something like that so there is no chance of get there is only chance of put because we are putting message into that and later it is going to the this queue at the return session queue there is option of persistent or persistent you can make it persistent after that there is option of remote queue remote queue already told you what is remote queue remote queue is a queue in that other queue manager you need to put and there there is also remote queue manager This is the key manager to from to whom you want to connect. Let's let's take example. I want to connect to a key manager Q max one to Q max two. So I I need to I need to put a queue name for the Q max one to whom I want to connect. Suppose let us example. This is the Q max two key manager and this is the Q max one. And there is a remote queue I want to make in Q max two. Then I need to I need to point this with the Q of the Q max one. Uh, let's. I hope there will be Q Q max one dot local. And you need to put a remote Q manager name so that if a remote Q manager name means this is the Q manager name to whom you want to send the message because. Uh, remote queue know where it has to send to message. So we you can put queue max one. Also, we have to know the transmission queue name because 
once the message will be sent with the application to remote queue it it as it didn't, does not hold the message it will send to transmission queue so it's it's must know the what is the transmission queue for that if for that you need to just search the transmission queue you will get here you max one trans there just click on finish and you will get the transmission queue this you can see here a transmission queue is created and it has some properties that the the queue max one local is the remote queue name this is the remote queue user name and this is the transmission queue name this is simple this is already told this you used to point the other queue manager and uh, this is it has no physical storage this only used to pointer and uh, in next lecture we will learn more about the more properties of the and we will continue for now okay, tata.